Okay, in this video, we're going to download and install SAP Personas version 2. Uh, version 3 is available in ramp up, but since it's not available uh, to public, we can't uh, install it. So we're going to go with version 2. So go into service.sap.com, do a search for SAP Screen Personas, and you can see there is two, uh, three products that we'll be installing. First is installation product, then it's the maintenance. There is two support packs, and then we'll be installing the Silverlight. So we're going to download this. So three items we're going to download. Uh, a very simple really to uh, to um, click on installation product um, and just you know go ahead and do the usual download. Click on SAP screen personas 2 installation and you download this package okay and then you download the uh, maintenance product for SAP SAP screen personas 2. Okay, we're going to click on Comprise Software, Persos 2, and there's two support packs there that we need to install, these two, okay? So these are the two things we need to install. So May 8th was the latest uh, patch for Subscreen Persona, so, and then we download the server light. So that's basically the, the download process. So once you download it, I've downloaded it and uh, put it into my C drive, media, personas so basically here is the two support packs and here is the original installation product so I'm going to go down extract this into here okay so that's there I'm going to go into command since so it's set up easy cpcr uh, slash x okay so very simple Everything's extracted. You can directly transfer it to your EPS folder here, but I just like doing it like this. A few extra steps. Now log into your DDIC account in uh, 000, 001, wherever you want. Okay, and uh, here we have um, CINT as the transaction code. We're going to the add-on installation, synchronizing directory, start. And you can see Persos 2, add-on installation, continue. There's no modifications we're going to do to this. And we're going to pick the target package of level 2. So it's going to import the support pack level 2 in the add-on continue so now you can see the installation is there and the two support packages we're going to continue okay do you want to do modifications no modifications just regular okay continue I always do in background all background cleanup in background so very good and we go ahead and so that is the import process so we'll check back every once in a while to see how it's progressing okay so it's been like a few minutes now and uh, we can do a refresh to see what's happening and you can say, see that it's progressing. It's currently in this phase. And go into logs, test import, successfully completed. End of it. Warning. So the import piece list and the test import phases have been done. So it, it is still active. It's still doing doing its thing um, just run a background job check you can see the status is active and it's been 444 seconds so far refresh 453 seconds come back to
So the errors are from the IDIS languages. So these are the errors. We have all these languages installed, but there is no entries in the language for the personas. So that's what the errors are. So it's all good. It's it's continuing. Okay, so we'll come back again and, and give it a go. Alright guys, SAP Persos has been installed successfully. This Personas version 2 has been installed. Okay, the queues are imported. Do you want to send feedback? No, cancel. Alright. So how do we know it's installed? This VRO reference image under cross applications you should see a new listing for subscreen personas. So here we go. So subscreen personas has been installed properly. Alright, so in the next video we will go ahead and uh, and uh, configure the uh, SAP screen personas. Okay, just doing a back check as well. It'll be difficult to find here. Okay, personas version 2 support pack level 2. Alright guys, so this is done successfully. So in the next video we'll do the configuration of this.